format table using table styles. You can apply predefined table styles to a table in the worksheet. The steps to format the table using table styles are Select the table data range. On Home tab in Styles group, click on Format as Table and select the required table style. The Format as Table dialog box appears. Click on OK button. Required design is applied to the table. Small arrows are added to each file name to filter data. Conditional formatting on data. Conditional formatting allows you to apply formats to a cell or range of cells, change the font color, styling, etc., depending on the value of the cell or the formula. Although Excel provides various built-in formatting rules, you can also add your own formula to a conditional formatting. For example, you can have a cell appear bold only when the value of the cell is greater than 80. Let's learn it with the help of the following example. Select the cells. On Home tab in Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting and select the required option. Analyze data with Pivot Table. Pivot table helps to make the data more manageable by summarizing it and allowing you to manipulate it in different ways. The steps to create a pivot table are Select the data range. On Insert tab in Tables group, click on Pivot table. The Create Pivot table dialog box appears. In Table Range text box, the table range or name is displayed that has been selected for the pivot table. Note, if the complete table is not selected, you can select the table manually. New worksheet option is selected by default. Click on OK button. The pivot table layout appears in the worksheet with a pivot table fields pane. Select the fields in the pivot table fields pane to add the report. In this example, we've selected the check boxes next to the roll number, student name, total percentage.